Hi, I'm Antonio and Marshoz here. Okay, uh, we went over the subject from last time, the regular and irregular verbs, in the past simple and then past participle, and uh, we did some more of that. And we also uh, looked at some comparisons. And so first, um, I asked you, ¿En qué trabajas antes? What did you do before? What did you do before? Trabajé en salud y seguridad. I worked in health and safety. I worked in health and safety. Es casi imposible. We have two options here, yes? So it is nearly or almost impossible. It is nearly or almost impossible. Then we were talking about uh, No puedo hacer frente al alcohol. I can't cope with alcohol. I can't cope with alcohol. Then, lamento mucho escuchar eso. I am so sorry to hear that. I am so sorry to hear that. Then we were talking about going to a pharmacy when you have a problem. Tengo dolor de cabeza. Necesito analgésicos. I have a headache. I need painkillers, please. I have a headache. I need painkillers, please. Then, in the previous class, you were talking about a thief. I told you as well there were other options. So, we had atraco, robbery, robbery, a bank robbery, yes. Atracador is a robber, a robber. We had ladron, or robo, yes. Burglar. Burglar, and the crime is burglary, burglary. Then we also talked about desmayarse, yeah? to faint, in the past is fainted, so regular verb, faint, fainted. And then uh, we also had la seguridad social de cubre en Austria. Are you covered by your health insurance in Austria? Are you covered by your health insurance in Austria? Then um, we had, me gustaría entenderlos. I would like to understand them. I would like to understand them. And the last one we had, él es corresponsal extranjero de la BBC en Segovia. He is a foreign correspondent for the BBC in Segovia. He is a foreign correspondent for the BBC in Segovia. Uh, 